Zach with Team Covenant. We're here at Warm Machine Weekend. I'm here with Nick, who just won the 50-point hardcore. Nick, congratulations. Thank you. So, what were you using? Uh, I was playing Epic Makeda with Scorn. Uh, the list was pretty standard Epic Makeda stuff. Uh, Molokarn, Gladiator, Archidon. Um, I think I had a Shaman, a Kray, and a Brute in there as well. Uh, Annihilators and Pain Givers uh, and an Agonizer. That was the whole list. Um, it was actually my first time ever playing uh, Epic Makeda because I usually like to play Prime Makeda. And you have to have Molot Karn in either Makeda, so you can usually play both. Wow, okay, so what ultimately made you pick that, that casting? Um, for, for that? I, I think, so the u reason I usually play Prime Makeda is because I feel like she's a lot better in Steamroller tournaments, which is what I typically play in, whereas I feel like uh, Epic's probably better in Hardcore tournaments because she just sends Molot Karn forever inches and with the, her feet can very easily kill casters, obviously. Sure. So what, uh, I mean, how many rounds did you play? Uh, it was four rounds. Uh, I think it was going to be more, but we had a couple tables that uh, went to time and got the double loss. Double loss. That is the uh, hallmark of uh, the true hardcore format. The, and this was the old school hardcore format. Yeah. Right? Now, what, what makes that different from today's hardcore? Uh, so the main difference is the fact that there's no scenario, um, and if you go to time, both players lose. So it's you have to kill your opponent's caster or you lose the game. That's all there is to it, which um, I, I feel like is actually the best way to do the hardcore format because it's almost like the purest way to play the game because War Machine is very much built off of caster kill. So it, it forces you in, into situations where you're like, well, I could draw this game out to time and, you know, just kind of run away for a little bit, but if I do that, I'm going to lose. So I'm just going to take my, you know, 20% assassination and hope for the best. Awesome. So now another thing about this is the clock doesn't stop. Yes. So that's pretty intense. I know it started one round, everyone hopped up, and it was just, there's an energy to it. Uh -huh. uh, what do you think is the most difficult part of playing in that environment? Um, I mean, probably the, the time turn. Seven minutes is pretty intense. Uh, and whenever you're going into a big turn, you always want to take a minute to try to sit down and think about your plan, but you really can't. Um, and it's it, it's tough if you have like a lot of beasts. Getting all the attacks done in time um, in seven minutes is tough. And if you don't pull it off, then you're probably going to be left in a really bad position for the next turn. Awesome. So what was... What do you think was the, the main thing that consistently saved the day for you or won the game for you? Um, you know, honestly, I, I don't think there was, every game was kind of different. Um, the, the first game I played, I just, my opponent got a little too close and I was able to just feet and send an Archidon over a building to uh, kill his caster. Um, the next game, I was just able to pretty much completely decimate his army on turn two. Um, and then it was kind of um, an uphill struggle for him after that. Uh, and kind of the same thing on game three, where I was just able to kill a storm wall on turn two, and that put him far enough behind on points that he couldn't really recover. Um, and then game four well, was very actually similar to the two and three, where it was just like kind of an attrition so you just fight. You annihilated your, your, your opponent. You know, I wouldn't say I annihilated them, but it, it, it gets to the point where um, in this format, if you're up on attrition, um, people will usually realize that and say, well, I'm not going to win the long game, so let's go for a long odds assassination and try to pull out the win, which... Um, when they don't, they lose. When they don't, they lose. And that's actually what happened to me in round uh, round four. Um, I had lost almost all of my heavies. I had um, uh, two, uh, uh, the Kraya and the Brute left, and Makeda and one Pain Giver, and that's really about it. So I just had the Brute slam the Kraya into... Uh, the Butcher knocking him down, then Makeda gets in there with Engine of Destruction, um, comes up one box short of killing him, um, and then the Pain Giver charges with Anatomical Precision and does the last point to win the game. Absolutely. Okay, so if you are, how long have you been playing this game? Um, about three years now. Okay, so if you're a newer player, last six to 12 months, sitting at home watching this video, mm -hmm. and you see someone like you just decimated at a 50 point hardcore, what is your one tip you would give the new players to get to the point where maybe next year they can come show up and do well in the tournament? Well, so this is going to be a do as I say and not as I do tip, because uh, like I said, I was, I was um, playing with Makeda for the Epic Makeda for the first time today, um, but just practice your lists. Um, because like I said, the, the time turns is probably the hardest part. So knowing what you need to activate when and being able to do it quickly and be very sure of yourself while doing it um, is probably the best thing you can do in the hardcore. Um, and also just playing lots of games with, with anything against anything because um, another big part of playing in a hardcore is um, knowing what your opponent is trying to do so that you know how to avoid getting yourself killed. 
So, but I mean, this wasn't the first time you uh, had used all the other models. Sure. Yeah. It was just it was just a new caster. I'm very familiar with you know Molokarn and the Gladiator and all, all the you know kind of how Scorn works. But I mean, war, the Warcaster can very much change the playstyle of sure. an army a lot. Absolutely. Well, congratulations, man. Thanks for sitting down and talking to Thank me. Thank you. Good luck for the rest of your tournament. Thank you.